Hi, um, this is Mike, and the purpose of this video is to answer the question, if you roll two dice and at least one of them is a two, what is the probability that both of them are twos? And there have been well over a thousand posts on my forum at wizardofvegas.com arguing about the answer. Um, the correct answer is 1 in 11. And the camp that is arguing incorrectly, 1 in 6, is using this argument. You roll two dice, you see that one is of them is a 2, so you remove that and you look at the other die and ask, well, what is the probability that this one um, is a 2? And their argument is, look, this die has six sides. It doesn't have 11 sides. Therefore, the answer is obviously one in six. The fallacy in that math is that if they were to roll two twos, they would just arbitrarily pick one die or the other and remove it, and then just look at this other die. In other words, they're not properly double counting this situation. It is true that every time a two is rolled, the probability that the other die is a two is one in six. But again, they're not properly double counting this situation. Um, and the reason you double count it is there is, is there are two twos. Now, the other camp is saying, please try to explain this to me with no math. If you say anything, like Bayesian probability or conditional probability, they will get their panties all bunched up and freak out. And they ask, please try to explain it to me using only dice. So that's what I'm trying to do. Next, let me show you the, the proper way that you should answer the question at hand. So here is the correct way to look at this problem. Fortunately, I had 70, 72 dice here at home, so I arranged them in the 36 ordered pairs of the ways you can roll two dice. If you look carefully, you'll see that all 36 combinations of two dice are represented. So let's count the number of combinations that have just, have at least one two. Well, we can look at the second uh, column here. Here's 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, and 2, 6. Now let's look at the second row. We have 1, 2. We're going to skip over 2, 2 because we already counted it. Here we have 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, and 6, 2. So let's count the number of combinations that have at least 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11. So there's 11 ways to roll at least one two. How many of them have two twos? Just one. Therefore, the probability of rolling two twos, given that you've rolled at least one two, is one in 11. My answer using only dice.